I remember a lot of things, how I feel. Maybe some other people remember some things, which is Snapchat memories or Facebook memories, Instagram memories or whatever comes up that I posted on social media about a year ago or two years ago, three years ago. But recently I saw that I started my free game YouTube channel about a year ago. And I have some tips for you guys about what to do in your first year, or at least some things that I wish I would have done in my first year. So if you guys want to hear tips from someone who's been, just been on YouTube for about a year, which honestly might not sound like a long time, but you can learn a ton in a year if you just try to stay consistent. So if you guys want to hear some tips, let's get after it. My tip number one is really pretty soon on YouTube you're going to figure out whether you like making YouTube videos or not, but it's going to get difficult sometimes to come up with some ideas. So I suggest make videos as an outlet. So when you're stressed, even when you're excited, when things are going well, things aren't going well, use that as a time to make and create and edit your videos because it's never gonna be the perfect time. Sometimes you'll be too excited and you wanna do something else, or you're down and you're depressed and you don't wanna make a video, but use YouTube, use your video making as an outlet to get better. Tip number two, a lot of these YouTubers say you have to upload every week, you have to upload daily, even some people, or you have to stay to a strict schedule. A lot of those people adopted that schedule kind of far into making their channel. And am I saying that consistency isn't important? Of course not. Consistency is extremely important but you're probably gonna miss some days starting out, especially when your editing process might be kind of slow or you don't, or you can't generate ideas like you want to. It's okay to miss some days. Some days will be missed, some days, but just try to make up for those days that you miss or just try your next time, try your best to stay consistent and keep going. Just don't get out of completely out of practice to where you're not doing anything. Even if you make a video that you're not gonna put out or a video that you really don't like or an idea that you might think is dumb, still make the video, edit the video, just to stay in practice. Cause you're gonna miss some upload dates, you're going to miss some days that you really wanna create just because things come up, but don't get down on yourself and just keep creating. Tip number three really is to plan. I still haven't gotten this down to be honest. This is a tip that a lot of people tell me to really plan out your vlogs if you're gonna vlog, plan out your lessons if you're gonna like teach something, plan out what you want the videos to be about. Even they, some people say get the thumbnail and get the title before you even have the video made just so you know exactly what you wanna talk about and I would 100% agree with this. I am still trying to plan out my videos better, plan out my upload dates, plan out my schedule for editing, all that type of stuff. And I'm just a post-grad college student and I live at home still so my schedule isn't as set I feel like as some adults are to where they have like they know exactly what they're gonna do and I don't have direct hours for my job, like specific hours for my job, like a nine to five or anything like that. It's kind of when we get work, I do contract work. So it's kind of hard for me to schedule around that. But I suggest you guys to try your best to plan out your videos just as early as you can, just so you know exactly what you're talking about and you're not kind of just spitballing as soon as the camera comes on. You can actually make the video, get it edited, get it edited in a certain amount of time because you know exactly what you want to talk about. So tip number four, I know you guys get really nervous. I get nervous when you upload a video like maybe nobody will like it. Maybe people think it's stupid. Maybe people will think whatever people might think. One, you shouldn't worry about that. But two, before you put it out, find people that you trust that you can send the video to that can give you good, honest feedback about what they think about the video, improvements, and also constructive feedback. Honest yet constructive. They're not just putting you down like, oh, you need to give up that YouTube thing. You need to do this, you need to do that. People that respect your creative process, but still will give you constructive feedback and not just be yes man, oh that was great, that was the best video I've ever seen. Because if you're starting out, I promise you it's not the best video, it's not the best video they've ever seen. Yet, you should keep trying, you should keep going. So my tip number four for you guys is really to try to find somebody that you trust that you can send your first edits to, or that when the video is unlisted, you can send those videos out and show people that you trust that will give you good feedback. Tip number five for you guys is to try different things. I know they say your page should have kind of like one 
common theme that you're always talking about. I'm not that type of person. I like talking about different ideas. I like teaching some things. I like learning some things from you guys. But I really suggest for you guys to try different things on your channel. Even if it's different types of edits. If it's the same thing for everything, but try different edits. Try different intros. Try different titles. Try different tags. Try different things. Get creative. Don't get so set in your ways that you don't try different things. So from somebody that's been on YouTube a year, I'm constantly trying new and different things to sing to see what will work and sometimes I make videos like I said earlier that I'll never put out that I'll never show anybody but I tried something different I tried a different camera angle I tried something completely different than I'm used to trying and that's my tip number five for you guys is to try new things constantly tip number six it really might be the most important really in my opinion and that would be to have fun with it like if you're not making videos that you enjoy why are you doing it especially at the beginning you're not going to be getting paid anything to be on youtube or anything like that so why are you doing something if you don't enjoy doing it so i really suggest you guys to try to keep the fun in it and keeping up a schedule keeping up the th same theme the same editing schedule all that type of stuff can be difficult and it can be kind of stressful but just remember that you signed up to do youtube so you should enjoy it. you should make things that you want to make and don't get and don't start a channel maybe that you don't think you're going to eventually be able to enjoy still like don't start a channel about something that you just think is a hot topic maybe and if that's the case start a channel to where you're constantly bringing up new hot topics not a topic that you think is cool right now but you actually don't like talking about it tip number seven i've brought up before i just brought up in this video but make sure you guys continually work on your edits work on your editing skills i'll make a video about my parents cooking i'll make a video about vlogging i'll make a video about running about swimming really just sometimes to work on edits i see a cool edit in a movie or another youtube channel i'm like really i want to try that or really i love watching peter mckinnon's videos and he'll teach you different edits and i'll go out and be like what can i do with this edit how can i instead put it into a video or maybe even make a video just to work on that edit so keep working on your editing keep working on your filming techniques keep working on those fundamentals because those are really the little things that I feel like will set your video apart from other people's videos and for tip number eight watch other youtubers I hear people say I want to get on YouTube I want to create videos I want to do this but they really don't even know what all that entails so watch YouTube the best way to learn how to do YouTube is from people that have been doing YouTube for a very long time It's impossible to learn it all very very quickly I'm a year in and I really feel like I don't know shit about YouTube So guys keep trying new things and learn from people that did it before you my tip number nine for you guys is Be careful how much money you invest into the gear up front there are so many phones today that can, I'm shooting on an iPhone XR front camera right now, which isn't the best, but it works perfect for my vlog right now. Don't invest in things that are extremely expensive, especially if you don't know that you actually like making videos. There's so many cameras on Craigslist and Facebook Market and all that from people that wanted to get on YouTube, but they realized the editing was too much or making videos took too much time, or they really just don't enjoy the process, which you have to enjoy the process. So be very careful how much money you invest. I bought some things that I never really needed or I didn't really want to buy but I thought I had to buy it to be good at YouTube on YouTube you need a decent editing software and you need a decent camera other than that don't worry about the front end cost too much. and my tip number 10 for you guys is don't be too hard on yourself it's okay your videos aren't gonna be the best at the beginning have fun with it enjoy it put out videos put them on Instagram put them on Twitter put them on TikTok, put them on whatever you want to put them on just get better at making videos and just keep progressing don't judge yourself so harshly we know your videos aren't that good at the beginning no one's expecting it but that's why i said find somebody that can keep encouraging you and keep correcting what you think it might be a better idea what they think might be a better idea somebody that will keep correcting you someone that will keep constructively criticizing you and keep your videos getting better and better without putting you down too much so my 
Thank you guys so much for joining me on GP's Free Game today. These are my 10 tips from a YouTuber that's been doing it pretty consistent for a year. You can check out my other videos. And really, I really feel like you can check from my first videos to some of my more recent videos on the progression of like lighting setups and different like setups that I want to do, different camera angles, different things like that. You can check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Links below. I have videos on there as well. And you can see that my videos have progressed and they're still not amazing. But I've been doing it for a year. I love doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. It's been another episode of GP's Free Game. Yo!